Hey, it's JP from Good Gaming, and today I'll be talking about one of the spookiest outfits in Guild Wars 2, the Hexed Outfit. At a price of only three candy corn cobs, the Hexed Outfit was available during Halloween 2014 and has now been brought back with Halloween 2015. The vendor that sells this outfit can be found northwest of the Mystic Forge and Lion's Arch. The Hexed Outfit has two distinct looks dependent on the gender of your character, along with four die channels. On the female version of this outfit, the top left die channel affects the hood underneath the straw hat, along with the gloves armband, base color of the chest piece and boots, and finally, one of the sets of stripes running down the pants. The die channel on the top right of the die selector affects the jaw and teeth-like structures found on the skirt, mantle, top of the boots, and the five-horned skull found on the character's left shoulder. This channel also affects the belt buckle and the two necklaces, and even the small metal chains that connect tassels to the straw hat. The bottom left die channel affects the sleeves, inside of the hood, and back of the skirt which is also patterned to look like corn leaves. Finally, the last die channel affects the second set of stripes on the boots and the cloth patterns on the chest piece. The tassels and padding on the back of the skirt, shoulders, belt, and boots are also affected by this channel. Reminiscent of a scarecrow, this is by far one of the most interesting female outfits. One of the biggest points worth mentioning about this outfit is that it does not force female Char and Asura to wear the male version of the outfit, unlike many other outfits produced by ArenaNet. The male version has many intricate designs and also seems to be inspired by scarecrows. The top left die channel affects the large spoked wheel on the right shoulder, along with the base color for the hood, skirt, chest piece, and boots. The top right die channel affects all of the corn leaf type frills found on the bottom of the skirt, sleeves, around the hood, and protruding from the left shoulder along with the ropes that hang from the waist. The bottom left channel affects both the padding and the teeth that line the hood. The final die channel affects the three faces on the chest, the faces on the lower and upper back, and the face on the belt. It also affects the rest of the large teeth or horn-like structures on the right shoulder and sleeves, along with some deadly looking spikes tied to the end of each rope. This outfit is one of two outfits in the entire game that do not require a gem purchase, making this one of the cheapest, most accessible outfits, and because of this, it is often overlooked. Remember that outfits don't require transmutation charges to equip them, and that it is an account-wide unlock, making this very beneficial for those with multiple characters. At current market price, this outfit costs about 14 and a half gold, and will likely go away with Halloween, so be sure to grab it while you can. Hope you enjoyed this video. And please leave a comment below to let me know what other outfits or armor skins don't get as much recognition as they should. And until next time, may your games be good.